Hey guys, Dara Addison at TorpedoPont.com. Dara Addison at TorpedoPont.com. And this is why I love cold weather. You see the impact that it has on the kale, causes them to go limp. As a matter of fact, I can grab a limb off this kale right here and pop it off and it'll be like glass. It'll just shatter right in your hands. That's how cold it gets when it gets 26 degrees. 32 degrees, chill factors that drop low. This is what happens to your kale. Hey, it doesn't die, okay? But I wanted you to see what it looks like. So you'll know that your kale limps over when it's cold, but, but when the sun hits it, it starts to pop right on back up, okay? And so that's why kale is such a reliable winter crop. It's a reliable winter crop. It's so reliable, okay? It's extremely reliable. And this is what you need, a reliable, never run out of food solution. It's reliable. This is the most reliable solution in the world. Now, this is kale we're growing in the winter time, up, up into the winter time. It's going into November now, it's hit 26 degrees. It's below 30 something degrees and I, my food is at least secure, okay? I picked the right crop for the right re region to grow my food in. And so that's why this kale is so secure, okay? And so, now, mind you that these plants, these planters you're looking at are on their uh, fourth crop now. We've had peas in these, we've had tomatoes in these, we've had cucumbers in these, we've had watermelon in these. We've had a number of different crops, you know? And it's amazing how it's been able to survive. This eggplant, we planted it over again in the middle of its growing season. I mean, who does that? Who really does that? And I shouldn't be really removing the leaves because it does really provide a barrier. But this eggplant is still, I gotta go cut this thing off, you know? And so, anyhow, so once we come out, clean our food off, I take the leaves off the top because I want them to be able to breathe. But uh, the leaves down the bottom, I'm concerned about, but not too much, because they help the ground in terms of the frost. And uh, which we're very happy to see. So, Dara Addison, torpedopont.com. Find the right foods that grow in the right areas that can feed you so that you will never run out of food. Do you understand me? This is what I want you to do. And look at this guy. In the heart of this cold weather, you can see where I've eaten a piece off of it. And see that new growth going on back down there. Isn't that pretty? Oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. Look at that. I love it. I love to see new things coming out, even in harsh times. Talk to you guys later. Bye bye.